Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about the Victory Kraken amp. Now the Victory Kraken is a little bit of a different amp than you probably think it is. A lot of the perceptions I had before I tried it was kind of like an EVH or an Ingle or a 5150 or a 6505 or you know that high gain saturation point amplifier. Um, nope, it's actually a lot, lot like the JVM by Marshall. Now that's not a coincidence, I don't think, considering Rabir, the guy who had it, kind of some input on this amp, uh, not only owns a JVM, but likes them. So I can hear it. I hear it right away. As soon as I was playing it, it has a very martial, modern sound to it. So that's what I really think it is. It's really like a, just a, a take it and go martial amp. So cool features, let's go through them real fast. You have two gain controls that are foot switchable. The first gain is dry and, and kind of more uh, chunky like, a, like the Marshall. Okay, the secondary, when you flip the switch, you get the higher gain. More. Okay, then you get a bass control, you get a mid-range control, and a treble control. Now you get two masters. Now one of the masters doesn't work unless you actually hook up the foot switch, and that actually assigns it to be, doesn't matter which gain you're on, it will allow you to be a secondary kind of like, a, think of it like a lead boost, right? That's kind of a cool feature. The other feature that's cool is the amp is 50 watts when the switch is up on this hair, and if you switch the switch down, you'll cut that wattage by about half, right? Um, the actual specs are on the Victory page, and it's very confusing about how the wattages all work. Um, I can just tell you that it is so freaking loud <laughs> at 50 watts. Um, I mean, really loud. It's as bit as loud as any 50 watt Marshall head I have ever heard ever, considering it's a quarter of the size. So, um, so that's one thing. Second thing, let's look at the back. On the back, it's pretty cool. You have obviously the foot switch controls and you have the effects loop, which is nice. You also have two eight ohms out and a 16 ohm out, so you can run into different kind of cabinets. And you'll notice this bass like kind of focus button. Um, if you push that in, what happens is, is you, it tightens the bass. So if you're using a down tuned instrument or a low tuned, uh, uh, like, you know, seven string or, or eight string guitar, you get that, uh, you don't get so flubby on the low frequencies, which is nice. The other cool thing in the back, if you look, there's a little switch inside the cage. And if you flip that switch, what happens is in the center, it operates two power tubes. If you switch, switch it to the right, it cuts off one of the power tubes. So you're on a single ended class A tube amp, which definitely cuts the wattage down. Now you'd have to get and look at the chart to see the wattage change, but it actually will cut it down as low as 1.9 watts. Now the reason why it's a three-way switch is because you can turn off one power tube and what they're suggesting is that the next night, if you're gonna play again and do that again, switch it to the other power tube. That way you always are wearing your tubes equally, right? It's a kind of a really thought out kind of process. So very cool. Um, and the other cool thing is it has a purple light. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd share that because I thought it was cool. Um, all of them seem to have the purple light. Okay, so the effects loop is really clean. Let's last talk about the tube complement. Okay, so you can see the picture right here. You have two six L6 power tubes and you have two, uh, nope, sorry, four, one, two, three, four, four preamp tubes. So it's as legit as it gets. There's no solid state in this amp. It's, uh, it's all tube. So let's go through some tones, right? cranked uh, with the bass increased a little bit and the tr treble and mid-range cut just a little bit to see if we can get more of that kind of Nuno Bittencourt more of the band extreme kind of heavier gain setting using the Nuno N4 uh, guitar by Washburn. <laughs> We know the 
amp can do high gain, what about classic rock? Let's take this Les Paul and see if we can get some kind of classic rock tones by taking the gain channel on, or the gain on the first channel, first side, and turning the gain down. We'll leave the controls to where they are. The amp's in full uh, power mode. We'll just see if we can get the amp to kind of maybe tame down a little bit if we bring that gain down. <laughs> Now let's take the amp. I switched it into the uh, the Class A mode, where it's one power tube, and basically driving the gain channel on the first gain, and put it in the lowest watt setting, which is about two watts, to see if we can get kind of like that Eddie Van Halen Brown sound, where you're really pushing the power section of the amp to get distortion. So let's give that a try. <laughs> Since we did a seven string, let's do another seven string and get more of like maybe a corn kind of heavier metal sound. Since we're using my favorite delay, the acid reflux delay, let's see if we can get some lead tones with this amp. Um, so I'll increase the delay a little bit to make it more present in the amp sound, and we'll get some good lead tone and see how it sounds. clean tone and I knew if I use a single coil of course it will clean up but let's use this custom 24 and see if we can get the amp to clean up. We'll run the gain about halfway and we'll just clean up with the guitar itself. <laughs> telly for no reason other than to see what a telly sounds like through it. I don't know really if I had an agenda on this one, but I'll just plug the telly in and see what vibes right. see the amp is very versatile. I mean getting tones out of it was pretty easy and effortless. I was basically just turn a knob, you get a different sound, turn another knob, you get another sound. Flip a switch, you get more power, flip another switch, you get less power, maybe kind of a different tone. So pretty versatile for sure. Definitely for a high gain amp. It's probably one of the most versatile high gain amps I've seen. It's definitely the loudest high gain amp I've ever seen in a size like this. It's uh, the same size as the EVH LBX, but it's the same wattage as the EVH 50 watt head. Uh, so obviously every amp I know out there is about three times the size or double the size at least to get the same wattage. Very impressive. So I'm glad you guys hung out with me and checked this amp out. I'm glad I got a chance to check it out. It's a very cool amp. And as always, I want to thank you for your time and know your gear.